Happy birthday. So what is the what is the big deal today? Are we uh, celebrating the name of America or yes, America? Yes, we're actually celebrating the baptism of the new world with the name America. It happened 500 years ago today. Uh, and what uh, what does this celebration consist of? Is it going to be celebrated all over the world or just here? Well, I think now, since uh, suddenly stories have emerged in some of the major press services about what happened 500 years ago in this little town in uh, eastern France in Lorraine. Uh, a lot of people will be interested, and uh, there's some things that are happening here and elsewhere, but there'll be some big events taking place on Friday the 27th. Are you going there? Yes. And the new president of France will come there as well? Well, we don't know who the new president is yet. That's going to be decided in a couple of weeks, So, uh, but uh, probably afterwards we'll get some congratulations. If you would ask 10 American people to ask what the name America means, would they know it? They wouldn't know anything about it. Okay, well. They wouldn't care. They wouldn't but can, can you give your comment on this? Well, one of the things that amazes me is that we have an important anniversary here on the naming of our whole continent, and nobody appears to give a damn. There's no celebrations, there's no recognition, there's no way that anybody's even um, uh, giving any hint that they know or care about this anniversary mm -hmm. and yet it's the origin of our name and I have to ask why is that? Yeah. If you look at the newspaper today they, they write about toilet paper but not about anything else. No. And, <laughs> well, that's what newspapers are good for. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what bothers me is that uh, most of us who are going to celebrate this 500th anniversary wrote to our, or got in contact with our congressman, and we couldn't even <coughs> convince them to, to put a resolution into the uh, congressional record. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> so Andy, uh, uh, how did you go about it? You, you started this whole affair with the, uh, uh, the uh, with today's and the celebration in France. Uh, no, uh, I think actually this was started 500 years ago by a very <laughs> A clever and innovative Duke of Lorraine named Rene II. And he put together a little think tank in his town of San Diego de Vosges. And they're the ones that really started it. We were just simply observers. We stumbled across that fact that this had happened in San Diego and we decided that it would be a shame to have the 500th anniversary of the baptism of America simply go unnoticed. But the, the French are much more interested in uh, celebrating it than the Americans. So the, well, there's a reason like for that. You know, if it wasn't for the French, there would be no United States of America. The, the French came over, gave support, gave money, gave troops, gave weapons, gave uh, admirals and generals, and they were the ones, essentially, who made sure there was going to be an independent and, and new uh, country, United States of America. And they've been proud of that ever since. They, they kind of feel like the big brother of the United States, and they look at us as a sort of, you know, oversized adolescents who still haven't quite figured out what the hell the world's all about. Can you tell us a little bit more about the celebrations you're going to uh, this Friday? Yes, Eva? well, there's something very interesting. In fact, a composer from Lorraine has actually written a new symphony, his eighth symphony, called the America Symphony. And it's going to be played for the first time in the town of San Diego de Vosges. So we're really happy to be able to be there and participate in this, uh, in this inaugural event. So there's a seminar there as well? And yeah, there'll be a tour of the cathedral, a tour of the museum. There'll be a, a talk about what was the background to this whole story. And then we go in the evening to the uh, concert hall and we all participate in the, watching this new concert. So how come that uh, this uh, place in the voice is uh, so, so famous about this? How did it happen? Oh, it's a very complicated story, Hank. It had to do with the politics of the late uh, uh, 15th, early 16th century and uh, the role of the then King of France and the then Duke of Lorraine and the fact that Portugal and Spain were competing for uh, hegemony in the newly discovered world and the role of France and other countries wanting to be participants in the game. 